Today we have this 1961 Smith Corona Secretarial Vintage Desktop Typewriter. I'll show you how to use the functions and make sure they all work. This is your paper guide. You can adjust it wherever you want to feed the paper and guides the paper into the platen. And the platen is this main roller that feeds the paper. And this is your paper bale that sits on top. And your margins are up here on each side. Uh, right now it's on the edge, but if you want it somewhere in, uh, closer to the middle, you just put it where you want it and then you flip that to the left and it's, it stops right there that's where your margin is and on the right side we're just going to do the same thing and it's going to send that margin to the end there and if you want it closer to the edge you hold the carriage release right here uh, above the knob and that margin at the same time it'll allow you to move it closer to the edge Once you hear the bell, you're at the end of the margin. Hit this line space, get you back to the beginning, and skips one, two, or three. Right now we have it on single, but if you want double, you just flip this switch down one, and it skips two, down one more, it skips three, and it lets you know up here which one you're on, one, two, and three. We're gonna keep it on single for now, and I was able to type all the uh, letters on one line because this has Elite typeface, which prints 12 characters per inch. I'll type you a sentence in red on the next line here. To switch from black to red, you just flip that switch up to that red dot, and it'll hit the bottom portion of the ribbon. Very nice typing machine, very well engineered, and the print looks really good. You're ready to go for daily typing, and it will last forever if you take care of it. To pull the paper out easy, there's a switch on the right side here. Let's move that margin all the way to the end so we can access more room with the carriage. Uh, this is a wide carriage, 17 inches. So we're going to flip this switch here, right here, uh, forward, and it unlocks the rollers underneath the platen, allowing you to pull the paper out easy or load thicker paper like carbon copy or cardstock or multiple pages. Make sure you flip that back or else you won't be able to load the next page correctly got a shift on each side and a shift lock on each side and to clear that you just hit the shift button again it's got a backspace on the left side here that works good and this is your tab function up top here i don't think we have any tabs set so it'll just go slamming all the way to the end so we're going to set a tab right there towards the middle and you just hit that tab set button on the right side there and when you hit this tab button it stops at that spot you set it in the clear you hit tab clear and it should go right past it all the way to the end. Now, I don't like to have no tabs set in case, so we're gonna set one in the middle in case somebody hits this tab button. It stops at that spot instead of slamming all the way to the end, causing wear and tear on your machine. We're gonna flip this back down to the blue dot, so next time we start typing, it prints black instead of red. This is your MR, this margin release. When you get to the end of the margin, there's a mechanism that locks the keys so you can't type past it. So if you want to finish a word at the end, you just hit that MR button and it'll allow you to type past that locking margin. Open the hood, you got your spools and your brand new ribbon is loaded on the left side here so it pulls to the right. And to switch that direction, you just flip that switch right there underneath that left side and it'll start pulling to the left. We're gonna keep it pulling to the right. Um, to make sure that you have it pulling in the right direction sometimes it gets to the end of the ribbon on the spool and it'll jam up your vibrator and call it, make it seem like it's malfunctioning when it's not. This is your touch control. The, the higher up you go, the more tension there is on the keys when you hit the keys. The lower you go, the lower tension. You don't have to hit the keys as hard. And this has a all tab clear. So if that cleared our tab in the middle, so we're going to reset it. But if you have multiple tabs set and you just want to clear them all, you just hit that and clear them all. And this has a lever right here on the front side of the knob 
that if you op if you push it up, it will uh, allow you on each side to to remove your platen, and you can uh, clean this out if it gets dusty or whatever. So that's pretty cool. And to just put it back on, it just clips right in, and this is adjustable. You can mess with that if you want. And has a lever on this side. If you push that. If you push that forward, it'll disable the spacing mechanism. If you push it back, each one of those clicks is a space. So, and that's about it. Now available on eBay or Etsy. Search Brooksaw Antiques.